You're doing what and where are you doing it? Uh, I'm playing professionally in Europe, in Greece, in the city of Patras. It's about two hours south of Athens. So it's been a good experience so far. This is my second year with the team, fifth year overall. So it's been a great experience. How many languages can you speak now? Speak? I can understand a few <laughs> of the languages, but speak? No, definitely not. <laughs> What's the toughest language that you deal with? Oh, Greece, easily. Really? Easily, because it's a whole different alphabet. So you can't even oh, yeah. begin to know what they're saying, how to read stuff. Now you're a uh, post I mean, you've been stable and staying busy playing. Mm -hmm, yeah. Is it a surprise? I know it, people don't realize how complex European basketball is, yeah. and there's a 3,000 teams, it seems like. Mm -hmm. um, have you been able to stay and not have to jump around too much? Um, usually, this is my second year with this team, but this is the first time I've been on the team for two years. Usually, it's oh, really? usually I sign one-year wow. deals. This is the first time I signed a two-year deal. So, but this team is it's been pretty stable for me. Yeah. Uh, we've had a good we had a good year last year. We've had, we're having a good year this year. We've had a lot of same teammates, so it's, it's been pretty well. When you play basketball now, and you think of all the stuff that you went through for four years, and really more of the basketball that you learned, mm -hmm. is it is it is it do you, do you deal with less? I mean, is there is there less on your mental plate? Um, a little less, but. Uh, a little bit, I guess. It's, it's just different. I feel like it's different. That's that's the best way to yeah. describe it. It's more of a mental game, really. People don't really understand that. Right. But just to have be mentally prepared because when you're at this level, everybody's a good basketball player. Right. When you're playing professionally, right. so it's just being mentally prepared and mentally ready. Are you a little bit ahead of when you got there? Were you a little bit ahead of the game of that league because of the mental part that you got from here? Uh, yeah, definitely think so. Uh, people always talk about my basketball IQ, mm -hmm. and my leadership, because I'm always talking in practice good or bad sometimes, but yeah. I'm always yeah. the loudest person in practice, and they, they definitely, I would definitely credit that to Mercer. Um, what, uh, what is, take away the Duke game, mm -hmm. what's the biggest memory, what, what still pop, pops up in your head? Uh, beating Florida Gulf Coast, for sure, yeah. easily. I think, in my opinion, that was the biggest win we ever had, even yeah. bigger than Duke, yeah. because just because of them beating us our sophomore year, then beating us again in the championship of <laughs> our junior year. So I was like, we can't get over the hump. Yeah. And watching them make that sweet 16 run the year before, it was like, man, we have to beat these guys. And to finally do it our senior year, which could have potentially been our last game right. together, was really special. And down there. Mm -hmm. And down there, because they beat us on the home court two years in a row. So right. returning the favor was <laughs> it was big. Is, um, and people would be surprised to hear that because, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, the Upstate game was so huge. Yep. But, and if you don't win Upstate, you don't play yeah, Gulf Coast. Also. If you don't win Gulf Coast, you're not, you know, you're not playing exactly. Duke. Exactly. Um, is, there, is there something during the year that kind of stands out? Or was that just – that's kind of a dream – Athlete, athletic year yeah, for because, somebody, just uh, the, the way everything went. Yeah, to go through your four years of college, not make the NCAA tournament, and the last season you're fighting against upstate. You go to overtime in the semifinal. Then you go down to Florida Gulf Coast, a team that beat you two years in a row, beat them, and it's just like it's a dream come true. Then to finally beat Duke, it's like you feel like a little kid in the backyard, count down a, no. count down a <laughs> second, throwing up a game winner against Duke or something. And it's, it was crazy. How many times have you watched that whole game tape? Oh, yeah. Just sure. really? How many That's times? I, like, I probably can't count. Really? <laughs> yeah, that much? Definitely, definitely. Do you see something different each time, or, is it, or do you watch and you just get – do you get engrossed in it again? Yeah, it's just – man, it's just – it's something I just feel it in my stomach every time I yeah. watch it. It's, just, it's crazy. Just uh, It takes you back to the moment. And even not even watching the whole game, just watching highlights, it's like, mm -hmm. man, you get that feel again. Like, we really beat Duke. Like this is crazy. Sometimes today I don't even believe it. It's crazy. Is there a, a, a snapshot from that game that you have? Just that, like that one player, that one that you still think of that maybe you thought of at the time. I always think I still think of Bud's baseball pass. Yeah, to, to and that was yeah. crazy. But I think it was one time. I think in the game maybe about thirty seconds to a minute left. I think I looked at Jake. I think it was Jake, and we knew like we really be through. But yeah. it wasn't over yet, so we looked at right. kind of like half smiling. We're like, all right, no, we can't do this yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> and I think that was the biggest memory. I'll definitely never forget. Um, how many Mercer games have you seen since then, live? Live? In um, person? In person, probably like three. Really? Three or four, maybe at the most. But I watch all of them online. Yeah. I've watched, I think, since my since I graduated, I might have missed maybe five games. Really? So, yeah, I watch wow. every game. If I don't watch it live, I watch it the next day or a couple days later. So I watch a lot of Mercer yeah. basketball. I'm one of the biggest fans, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> In uh, 10 years or whenever you hang it up, you're going to be a coach like uh, some of your... Uh, I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll see how that goes. What do you want to do when you get done? That's a great question. I yeah. don't know. A lot of my teammates, even in Europe, they're like, oh, yeah, you're going to coach for sure. They just yeah. can see it, but I, I don't know for sure. Yet. You don't want that, the headaches? Yeah, and, uh... and, it's, and you're moving around a lot. Right. And, yeah, so it's, it's, but Is I don't it... know. I love, I love basketball. I love talking basketball, so yeah. maybe. Who knows? Yeah.